Are you trying to figure out the secret to happiness? Well, here at What Makes You Happy with Jake Pearson, we want to make that happiness more accessible for you in your life. So stick around as we interview everyday people, inspirational leaders, and your favorite celebrities on what makes them happy. Disclaimer, this podcast discusses mental health. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. If you're struggling with your mental health, please remember it's okay to ask for help and seek the appropriate help through a qualified healthcare professional. Welcome back to the podcast where we ask the question, what makes you happy? My name is Jake Pearson and our guest today is a mental horticulturalist who plants positive seeds of influence into those across the globe. Angela Marshall from Grovetown, Georgia, United States. Welcome to the podcast. How are you? Hello, I am doing outstanding. Thank you so much for having me on what makes you happy. Such an insightful and a thought provoking podcast. Well, I am eager and I am elated to be on your show. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. And I love that you've mentioned thought provoking because Although we might not relate to those who we listen to, we can certainly think about what makes us happy as listeners and as host and guest. And I think you've had that experience recently where you've had a bit of thought provoking going on about what makes you happy. So would you be able to share that with us, Angela? Absolutely. Well, you know, happiness, your happiness, my happiness, everyone's happiness should be like up there on the list of Uh, reflecting and things that make you go, hmm, what actually makes me happy? So I, when I first submitted to be on your podcast, I had this entirely different outlook of what made me happy. And then uh, Hurricane Ian came and it, you know, gave me like a different perspective, a different outlook on life where I actually took time during that particular sheltering in place And I wrote out what actually makes me happy. So with that in mind, I actually have five things that I know makes me happy. And that is my mission, meaningful relationships, is minutes and moments, is my man, and is money. (laughs) So those are the things that make me happy. Yes. Angela, if someone came up to you in the street and they were struggling to find what made them happy, where would you suggest that they start? First of all, I believe any type of habit, routine, aha moments, <laughs> insightful or impactful uh, journeys or paths that we need to we need to come on, uh, be on. It starts from a decision. So you have to decide, one, to be true to you. And then you have to be true to who you are Mm -hmm. to others. Because I found that the source, a lot of the source for my unhappiness was trying to be, trying to talk, trying to attain, trying to achieve what other people thought I needed to achieve, attain, or talk, or be, or be like, or like, or don't like. And once I made a decision in my mind that, and this is a play on words because there is a, and I don't want to botch it up, but I'm sure when I say it, most people, it will resonate with, to thine own self be true. However, I added on to thine own self be true, but then to other people be you because that's where the problem lies. It's like, I know who I am. I'm home. I reflect. I'm in look in the mirror whatever i'm in my office as long as i'm by by myself but in front of other people whether it's professional personal links family members whatever the case is sometimes i would you know i would find it difficult to be myself and that is a huge source of unhappiness for a lot of people and as it was for myself i'm (laughs) sitting here and i'm really just what you've resonated with something that i have experienced a hell of a lot in my early uh, late teens, early 20s, where I tried to fit in with other people and I never felt like I could express myself for who I really wanted to be, my true self. And as I've grown through that and I've done that self-reflection, probably just as you have, and I've found who I truly am, it's made it so much easier to 
you know, go about life and find the meaningful relationships and connect with the people I want to connect with that actually allow, you know, I feel comfortable with being just me. And that's made life a lot more happier for me. Uh, probably the same for you. Absolutely. 100%. Now that I have defined me, no one and no one's expectations or standards can confine me. So therein lies the happiness. <laughs> I love it. Angela, an absolute pleasure to hear about all things that make you happy here. We really appreciate your time today. Thanks for listening to the podcast. We hope it gives you something to think about on your quest to discover what makes you happy. Make sure to check out whatmakesyouhappypodcast.com to connect with today's guest and follow us on all our social media platforms and to stay up to date at what's happening next at What Makes You Happy. Don't forget to share this episode with a friend and we'll see you next time.